So, yung listening ko ay 9, reading was 7, writing was 7, speaking was 7.5. So, my overall band score was 7.5. Ito yung panahon na they're only accepting 7 and above. So, so, 6 years, I did my driving test. I passed it. And also, I got my NMC pin without a hospital backing up on me. I did it all, all on my own. Yes, I'm super proud to say that. <laughs> and then also, this year, I got my British passport. I mean, intensive care, like I said, I've started when the coronavirus started, so baptism of fire, as they would call it. I've not vlogged in a long time now, possibly uh, two weeks. So it's quite murky. It's rainy today. It's been raining the whole day. It's been wet. And wet. So I'm not working today. Kaya we have got time to vlog. And I did a bit of makeup kasi parang napansin ko yung vlog ko ay hindi ako lagi naka makeup. So I did made an effort. So what are we going to talk about? Let me just get something first. Hold on. Yung mga props ko. Ito yung panahon na they're only accepting 7 and above. So then I took my IELTS then and then it took me a while to get my uh, documents from uh, the country I worked with sa uh, Middle East. So, so, it took me at least one and a half year, two years, I've forgotten now. So, it took me thousands of pounds of flight to that country and back. And then, in 2016, I finally got my uh, go signal to take the my decision letter. That was it. Decision letter, it was called. So, I had to book, I've already passed my CBT then, it's 120 item test, and I've re I got the result even 5 minutes after I've taken it. I remember uh, signing into person view, and I was about to board the train, and then I got the result passed. So, that was easy peasy. And then, at the same year, around July... I got the letter from NMC that I need to book my practical test, which is the OSCE, which I did. I did my OSCE in October. Unfortunately, I failed the first time. And then I retook it in November, so after a month, and I passed it on the second time. Um, so, yun nga, I, was, I entered the UK on a spouse visa. So, sariling sikap. Guys, ang ginawa ko. Super sariling sikap. Yung mga dumating dito was mostly through an agency. So, they have got their trust or their hospital to help them, to assist them with their paperwork, with uh, booking their exams, with training them for the exam, with revising with them. Ako, wala. Sariling sikap siya. I depended on colleagues people i know that who have taken it so i always I, I always did my research i was always in nurses forum to get latest information about the oski test and then i remember then um northampton pa lang yung, ano, yung testing center no and you had to take the taxi or a bus to go into the university of northampton unlike today nakatapat lang ng train station I remember doing a CPR on Steve. I remember, you know, spending hours and hours revising because it was an expensive test. I think back then it was a thousand pounds, and then if you retake it, it would cost you five hundred pounds. So lahat yon gastos ni Steve. Wala talaga ako, wala akong, walang nagtrain sa akin. I just did it on my own. 
And, yeah, sariling sikap talaga siya. So, yung hit ko, wait lang. Um, I rem yun nga, nag-self-review ako. I remember yung Royal Mars din ko na student edition ay parang na-rape. Sobra talaga siyang nagamit kasi I made an effort to really read page by page. And tas ang niya pang highlight na mga notes. And then I also remember uh, printing loads of revising materials that I've seen online. Kasi you know, I, I had really no one to, you know, to check if, you know, kung paano ba ako. On, especially dun sa skills, ha. Because back then, yung skills namin ay basic life support and ANTT. And then, obviously, your nursing process, your API. And then, I remember, eto na lang yung libro na titira ko. Etong nursing practice na to. Look how thick it is. Binasa ko yung mga cases namin noon, which was COPD, hernia, asthma, and what's this? Ano to? Bakit may highlight dyan? Hold on. Hindi nga natin kung anong meron nandun. And subdural hematoma. Hmm. I don't remember that. It was four years ago. So, yun nga. So, what happened since then? It's been now at least nearly four years since I've qualified as a nurse here in the UK. I've worked in medical assessment unit at hindi pa ako nakontento sa pagiging fast phase ng medical assessment unit. I went to emergency department because I thought then, I think I would rather do this now. You know, do emergency department rather than further down the line. So, I did. I spent eight months in A&E. I loved it, don't get me wrong, but it's the commute. I have to drive 30 minutes each way, uh, papunta, the work, and pa -uwi. And sometimes, I would sleep on the red light kasi talagang inaantok ang lola niyo after a night shift. So, now, I'm happy with where I am at the minute. I'm in intensive care, like I said. I've started when the coronavirus started, so baptism of fire, as they would call it. And six years in the UK. So, on those six years, I've passed my driving test. Wait. And driving license. Yeah. I've passed my driving license. Um on my very first year here in the UK because Steve has given me an ultimatum then he said to me love you need to be independent you need to learn how to drive because most women here in the UK do drive and you know it's really better for you because it will give you independence it's a skill that you uh, that you could be proud of so after a year I did pass my test uh, obviously, I failed on the first time on my practical, and then on the second time I passed. Sobrang hirap niya, especially when you're already driving in the Philippines, kasi your brain was really screaming at you, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> so, six years, I did my driving test, I passed it, and also I got my NMC pin without a hospital backing up on me. I did it all, all on my own. Yes, I'm super proud to say that. <laughs> and then also, this year, I got my British passport. So, uh, last year, I got my indefinite leave to remain, which gives me indefinite uh, time to stay here in the UK. But then Steve said, you might as well get your citizenship because it will just get harder especially when we're always traveling in Europe. We're going in and out of Europe. So, do you know how time-consuming it is when you're traveling to Europe from the UK and when you're handing your Philippine passport, it would take them at least minimum five minutes to check your passport, to check if your visa is valid. So, nakakahiya talaga. I always feel so <laughs> embarrassed kapag, kunwari, we're traveling 
somewhere uh, like Spanish island or Portuguese island because the Brits will behind me behind the queue will be wondering why is it so why is it so taking so long for her to pass through immigration and then they uh, I could just feel their eyes staring at me so like you said Steve I will shield you from their judgmental eyes love <laughs> so because of that I decided to get my citizenship but because we Steve and I has well Steve bought me a house in the Philippines I need to keep my citizenship so I am now a dual citizen I can either use both of my passport so obviously when I go to the Philippines I use this no I use this when I go enter the UK I use this but what a perfect timing though you know, I thought I would be using this as much, but because of coronavirus, it's a bit useless at the minute. <laughs> so that's it. That's my short vlog. I hope this vlog inspired you to, you know, do something for your future, do something better, or to push you to do something that would urge you to get that bigger step. And hin lang, um, if you've got any questions, um, mag comment lang kayo and or send me a private message in Instagram because I read them and I try to, I try my very best to answer them. Or if you have got important um, questions, na medyo may pagka private, send me an email. My email is in my info, so hanapin yun na lang. And yun lang. That's our vlog for today, but I think I'm gonna, going to do another vlog because I'm in the mood. And that's it, really. And yon tip nga, ha? For those of you who are going to be deployed in the countryside, please, 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 utang na loob, make an effort to learn how to drive. And pass that driving and driving test. It is so common here that <coughs> yung padre de familia lang yung nang the drive and the wife will just be left just on the passenger side. Please don't be like that. Kasi it would be easier for you, especially if you've got children. Kasi paano kapag susunduin mo? Ano, pare-pareho kayo magbabas? Diba? Drive. Learn how to drive. And it's a, it's a skill. <coughs> Yun lang. <laughs> Inubo na naman ako. Kasi medyo palagang strongly opinionated ako dyan sa pagdadrive and being so independent. <laughs> See you again.